What's up guys, I'm Lee Morris with fstoppers.com and today I have the brand new Pocket Wizard Plus 3 units. This thing is all new, totally redesigned. In today's video, I'm going to show you all of the new features that this unit has. The first thing that you'll notice about this unit is the way that it looks. Not only does it not have an antenna anymore, it also has all of the buttons on the side. This thing goes on your camera like this rather than the old ones that went on the camera like this. So to see the buttons, you do have to turn the camera to the side, but it makes it so much easier to see over the top of your camera now. And I didn't think I was gonna really like this new redesign, but after using it for a couple days, I really do. The Plus 2 units only had four channels. This thing has 32. And that's going to be a real big help if you're shooting in an area with a lot of different photographers using pocket wizards or if you're using lots of different types of lights in an area that you need to have on different channels. One of the other big differences with this unit compared to the two is that now everything is digital. On the two, we had switches and buttons that you had to move manually. This thing has digital buttons and an LCD readout. One really interesting thing about these units is the fact that the test button is actually a double press button. It's very similar to a uh, shutter button on a camera. You can press it halfway down and then you can keep pressing it and it clicks. And uh, this will allow you, once they come out with this new cable release cord, to control your camera and actually focus your camera by pressing this halfway down and then uh, clicking it to actually take the picture. On the bottom of the Pocket Wizard, you'll notice that there's a USB jack. And I've been told that this can be used to power these units. So if you needed to plug this in for a long period of time and you need uh, these to remain on, that's your best bet. And it's really helpful because this is just a standard USB cable. You can power it off a laptop or you can power it off uh, an AC plug. So it should be really, really simple. It may sound silly, but probably the one feature that I'm most excited about with these units is the fact that it has a battery indicator. In the past, I've always been so paranoid as to how old my Pocket Wizard batteries were, and I, I ended up just changing out Pocket Wizard batteries before every single shoot because I had no idea if I had done it you know, last week or six months ago. But now, this unit actually tells you how much battery life is left, so that won't be a problem for me anymore. One of the most useful features on the new Pocket Wizard Plus 3 units are these new subgroups. What Pocket Wizard has done is built in an A, B, C, and D subgroup directly on the Pocket Wizard unit itself. And what this allows you to do is now assign different flash units to groups and turn them on and off on the fly directly from the Pocket Wizard. So the concept I wanted to do today was bring an athletic model into the studio and then light him in a way that I can pull him from the background and composite him into some environment. My whole goal is to really light the model himself and not worry so much about the background because we're going to deal with that in post. And the look I'm really going for is, is kind of a commercial shot for a clothing line or maybe a sports energy drink. So I want to talk a little bit about the lighting setup that I have here. We're going to use four lights here in the studio. And the first light is a beauty dish with a sock on it. And that's going to give just a hard light with just a slight bit of softness to it. And I have assigned that to subgroup A. The second light that I have is this strip box right here on my subject's right hand side. And I've assigned that to group B. The third light is the gridded strip box right above me that I'm using kind of as a hair light or as a shoulder light. It's going to be just separating him from the background from the head down. The final light that I have is just another strip box on the model's left side and I've signed that to group D. So with groups A, B, C, and D, I can actually turn on and off each power pack directly on the new Pocket Wizard Plus 3. It's really cool. So for this first shot, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn on group C, which is the hair light and you're gonna see that that actually illuminates him from the back and all the other lights are turned off. So look right here, there you go. And turn just a little to the left. So you can see from that shot, I just have the light from behind, kind of the hair light, and that's just illuminating his back. So for the next shot, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on group D and that is gonna add the soft light kicker from his left and we'll see what that looks like. Right there to the left, all right, perfect. Uh, hand straight down. So what we're really doing here is we're just building up the kicker lights from behind. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on group B and we're gonna add the final kicker light from his right side and you should have all three lights going at this point. So 
we've turned on all three groups, B, C, and D, and now I'm going to turn on the key light, which is A, and you're going to see the whole portrait really come together, and, and you're going to get an idea of what you can do with these different groups. So go ahead and turn this way. Turn your whole torso this way. Using this group feature probably isn't the most useful in the studio, but imagine if you have it on location where you have lights that are outside of your reach or if you have remote cameras that you can't easily get to. You can now use your groups to turn on and off different light combinations. As a wedding photographer, a lot of times I light my receptions with two or three lights on stands, and now with the group feature I can actually turn lights on and off and create different lighting combinations right there on the fly. So now let's go through some of the modes that this unit has. Uh, it may sound a little bit complicated, but it's actually very, very simple. And this pocket wizard can be used just like the old plus two units, or if you want to do a lot more with it, you can use these extra modes. When you first turn the pocket wizard plus three unit on, it's going to be in TXRX mode, and that is transceiver mode. So that means it's going to transmit and receive automatically. It's going to work the exact same as the plus two units that you're used to. And just in case you were wondering, yes, these are back backwards compatible so you can easily use these with older pocket wizards as well. If you hit the mode button once it's going to go into TX mode and that is transmit mode. This is going to be really helpful if there's multiple photographers in the same room shooting on the exact same channel. You don't want your flash going off when somebody else in the same room is shooting. If you press the mode button one more time it will go into RX mode which is receive only mode. If you have this set up with a light somewhere or with a camera and you don't want it to transmit, you just want it to receive signals, you're going to use this mode. HSR mode is high speed receive mode. If you have one of these new sports cameras that can shoot 14 frames per second and for some reason you're strobing that fast, you're going to use that mode and this will be able to keep up with the new cameras and the new power packs that can shoot that fast. If you tap the mode button one more time, it's going to go into long range mode. You can see the LR here on the screen. Use that if you're in a situation where your flash is really far away or maybe you're near water or buildings and you need that extra reach to get the signal to your flash. If you need even more reach, I would suggest using RP mode, which is repeater mode. And in this mode, what you can do is put pocket wizards in between each other and it will receive a signal and then instantly transmit the same signal even further. So if you had a uh, pocket wizard, you know, a mile away and it couldn't reach that distance, you could probably put five other pocket wizards in between and they will relay each other all the way down the line. So you can pretty much have unlimited range as long as you have a few of these units. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up auto relay mode with these things. I use this mode with my older pocket wizards and you can easily do it with the new ones as well. All right guys, I'm out here under a bridge in Charleston, South Carolina, and today I'm going to do a fashion type photo shoot under this bridge with cool converging lines going back in the background. I'm going to use this feature called relay mode with these pocket wizards. It's really cool and it allows you to trigger the camera and trigger flashes with only three units. So come check this out. This angle is really awkward. As you can tell, I'm already really sandy from laying down and trying to see what this picture looks like. I don't want to have to lay down during this entire shoot. So now that I have the camera set up, everything's focused and ready to go, I can stand up, direct the model, and fire the camera and my lights with just one pocket wizard. First of all, I'm going to make this pocket wizard channel one. This is the one that's going to be in my hand. When I hit the test button, it's going to be received by this pocket wizard, which is also on channel one. You can see here I have a pre-release trigger cable, and when this receives a signal, it's going into the camera and it's going to fire the shutter. Once the camera actually takes a picture, it's going to send a signal up through the hot shoe to the pocket wizard, and automatically the pocket wizard knows that you're in relay mode, and it will send a second signal out on channel two. My key light over here is a large octobank, and it's going to be receiving the channel two signal and firing. This is really nice because now we don't have to have two pocket wizards. We don't have to have one on top of the camera and then one dangling from the camera. We can just have one that's receiving and transmitting at the exact same time. I use this at every wedding that I shoot. I have a photo booth that uses this system, but if you're a sports photographer, this is gonna be even more useful because now you can trigger cameras and flashes with just one unit and you're not having to dangle pocket wizards from the camera. The lighting for this shot is really simple. We have a huge seven foot octobank over to the side here. That has a pocket wizard on it. It's going to be firing at half power. 
And then way back in the distance back there, we have an SP800 that's set to SU4 mode, so it's just firing when it sees another light. So let's go ahead and get the model in here and try the shot out. Let's do a couple where you're looking right over the top here, right over the top of the camera. Turn, turn one way or another. Yeah, that's good. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. So that's it guys, these are the new Pocket Wizard Plus 3 units. These should be coming out very, very soon. If you have any questions at all about how these work, come over to fstoppers.com slash plus three. That's plus I, I, I. We'll have a big write up there on how all of the new features work. And if you have any questions, we will try to answer them in the comments below.